One, two, three. Let's One, two, three. Right. One, two, three. Let's get One, two, three. Let's get it. One, two, three. Let's get it. 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 Let's Welcome back in to the Sean Wood Show, the, the four-game road trip, obviously tough, and we are taping this show on Tuesday, which is prior to Moorhead's games at Southeast Missouri and UT Martin, so we'll talk about those games on next week's show, but Sean, two big OVC home games coming up, and at the time that we're taping, Belmont and Tennessee State, which is on Thursday and Saturday, both those teams undefeated, and you and I were talking in the break, it doesn't get any easier. No doubt about it. I, uh, Belmont, by far, right now, is the best team in our league with the way they're playing sure. and uh, their pre-conference schedule. Um, I think they're, they're on that line that comes from one of the best mid-majors in the country coming into the OVC, which gives the OVC a lot more credibility. And Tennessee State's playing real well right now. They're taking care of business. Um, I think they're doing a great job down there. And uh, we're, we got our hands full coming, in, coming, into, uh, coming into the house. But uh, we, hopefully we'll be prepared for it, and hopefully we can – our fans can give us much more energy to keep us going to sustain right. the toughness and energy that we have to sustain and have uh, for 40 minutes to have a chance to win a basketball game. But with those two teams coming in, at the time we're taping, Belmont is 5-0, and Tennessee State is 4-0 in the OVC, but, it, but again, that, though it's those games that draw big crowds, draw lots of support, and hopefully, hopefully, get your team motivated to play. No doubt about it. And, uh, you know, we got to do what we need to do. Uh, we'll be prepared. But we have to sustain, yeah. David, and that's been the problem of our team all year long is sustaining uh, for 40 minutes. And, uh, you, know, you know, when I go into practice today, I've been, I didn't go yesterday, and uh, Coach Howard kind of showed him the tape of uh, Eastern and broke it down. And um, something's got to get. Some, something's got to get into these guys that, because we're talented enough. I think we're talented enough Absolutely. to have much more success than what we're having. But... You know, talent alone is, is, is not everything. You've got to have it in your heart and in your soul, mentally and physically, and we're just not quite there yet. Halfway through the schedule, uh, getting ready to uh, get into the most important part of the OVC schedule because, obviously, after these two games at home, uh, then starting on February the 9th on a Saturday night, you play four home games within an 11-day stretch. That's huge, and among those games includes Eastern Kentucky and Murray State. Well, you know, every, I told, every game in our league is important. The OVC is one of the most underrated conferences in the United Absolutely. States right now. No question. And, uh, no game is an easy out, and whether you're at home or on the road. So uh, we just got to pick up our bootstraps and, and continue to fight, uh, fight and uh, <laughs> hopefully we can sustain and be the one who's standing. Thanks again for watching today. And on behalf of Director Tim Creekmore and the Eagle basketball coach, I'm David Patrick, and we will see you next Sunday right here on the CWKYT Network for The Sean Wood Show. The Sean Wood Show has been brought to you by Chickabitty Frozen Yogurt, Coach Wood's favorite frozen treat, The Citizens Bank, Moorhead's only locally owned bank, Larry Fannin Chevrolet Buick GMC, serving the area for more than 60 years, Santa for Builders Paving and Sealing of West Liberty, quality work at affordable prices, that's how we roll. The Kentucky Pain Institute, specialist in spine and joint relief. U.S. Bank, a financial partner of Moorhead State University. Eagle Finance, making loans to people, not credit scores. And by the Commercial Bank of West Liberty, committed to the rebuilding of our community.